What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Fast checking in with you with another one. I'm going to tell you about this time when paying for your protection it can go wrong for certain individuals because some people think that they need protection up in prison, but in reality, they don't need protection. But things could look like that when they get up in there and they might feel a little comfortable. So they might reach out to certain people to try to look out for them to give them some type of protection. But yeah, before I start the story, I want you to go on and smash that subscribe button for your boy and leave me a comment, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all reach out and join the Fats and their membership team so everybody can be on a certain page. You know, look out for your boy, you know what I'm saying? Hit that membership button if you can. But yeah, <clears throat> have you ever been in a situation to where you knew somebody and y'all kind of knew everybody, like basically everything y'all had was cool, because y'all knew each other from a certain, y'all was in the same penitentiary county jail together at that time. But well, yeah, this is a certain situation like that. I mean, it was this dude named Philip. Now, Philip was a cool individual. I mean, he was like just a regular white boy. He was kind of short, you know, up in there. He was, guess he was selling weed or something on the street, some drugs or something on the street, and got into like a little altercation or whatever with some gang members. I don't know what gang or whatever it was at that time. But yeah, and then, you know what I'm saying, you had another dude named Radar. Now, Radar was one of them individuals that, that liked to go through there always in somebody's face trying to get make a little dollar. He was just like a basic hustler, but he wasn't you no know, big time hustler. He was just like one of the petty type of hustlers to where he manipulated people to try to get some certain type of stuff. But yeah, I was, like I said, <clears throat> I was in Hutchinson Correction Facility at this time, you know, I come through at the medium, you know, like I said, it's like one, two, three, the dorm settings and stuff like that. So I'm in dorm two, you know, <clears throat> sitting up in my little cubicle, you know, just sitting there, just minding my business or whatever. So then Raider, you were always in the bathroom to smoking, doing this thing, you know, coming back and forth, up and down the little thing. So I'm seeing him all the time. So I'm like, shit, what's up, man? You know, when he walked by, he's like, shit, man, just moving and grooving, shaking and baking, trying to make this bacon. You know, I was like, all right. So shit, I go back there with him, you know, we sit there, we talking for a second, you know, boom, smoking our little cigarettes. So then, I leave up out, come back, you know, to my little cubicle. So then, like, probably about 30 minutes later, you know, I go back out to the day room, sitting up in there just chilling, watching the TV out there because I ain't had no TV in the room at this time. So, boom, that's when, you know what I'm saying, Philip come through with the car rolling it through. So then... I'm looking, you know, like I said, I'm looking at the newcomers, like two of them coming in. You know, they ain't have like a bunch of them because, you know, at the medium, they, they rotate you out from the max to the medium and stuff. So, like maybe five or six people might come over there at a time, depending on whatever type of fight went down or whatever and moved everybody out. So, took a couple people come up in there, you know, well in the little court yellow card up in there with all their property and stuff up in there. So then <clears throat> when they go down to dorm little dorm three all the way at the end down there, like I said, if you're in the day room in previous my videos you can kinda see all the way down. So he go down to little dorm three, I'm in dorm two. So then probably about ten minutes later, you know what I'm saying, Philip come back out to the day room and stuff. So then, <clears throat> that's when Radar come out, and he's like, he look at him, he's like, hey, man, what's up, man, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, they knew each other. So I'm, I'm look, looking at them like, shit, shit, you know, because, I mean, they, the way that they dapping up, like, they kind of knew each other. He was like, man, I ain't seen you, you know what I'm saying, since the county jail. That's what they talking about. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know I'm from the county jail. He was like, man, you all right, man? How that case and stuff roll out, you know what I'm saying, with you? So he was like, they start talking, then they start moving back. I guess, you know what I'm saying, going in there to smoke a cigarette or something or whatever. I guess Radar, you know what I'm saying, basically trying to teach him. I guess they cool or whatever. So they going back there and probably showing the ropes or whatever was going on. 
So then I get up and go back to my little cubicle, sit down, wait on child time. Um, child time come. I go out to eat, eat my little food, you know, go out to the yard, walk the track, you know what I'm saying, for a few minutes, then come back in. When I come back in, they sitting in the day room talking, I guess spitting their little game or whatever. I don't know what they're doing, but they just sitting there talking like that, like basically again. So I just walk on by, you know, go back to my little cubicle. You know what I'm saying? Sit there for a second, great, take my shower, you know. Boom, I go back out there, I go back out there, they gone. Ain't nobody, I don't know where they probably went to, the out on the yard or something, because the yard is about to close and probably about an hour. So I go back out there, sit there, watch TV for a second, you know, and then like probably about 10 minutes later, they come back, but they like they said, they walking together, you know, talking and stuff. So, boom. I come back to my little cubicle, take my little shower, you know, come back. That's when Radar come back, you know, it's like, hey, you got a cigarette, you know, you can kind of uh, look out for me with. And I was like, yeah, I got one, you know, I gave him a little cigarette. I was like, shit, what's up with you and your boy, man, you know? And he's like, shit, that's somebody, you know, I knew from the county jail, man, he was kind of cool. You know, I kind of looked out for him while he was in the county jail. You know, he was like one of my little partners down there, you know. I had him up under my arm. I said, oh, did you? I was like, shit, what'd he do? You know, he was like, shit, man. He uh, robbed some people, you know. And uh, shit, they, I guess whatever they tried to do or whatever, they tried to rob him. He ended up shooting one of the dudes and... You know, I don't know what it really happened after that, but I know that he ended up shooting somebody, one of them gang members, dudes and stuff. And I was like, oh, so he shot another gang member? And he was like, yeah. He was like, but shit, he gonna be cool. I'm gonna have him up under my arm. I'm gonna make sure ain't nothing gonna happen to him or whatever. I was like, all right, man, you know, push on, you know. He left on out, so now, I'm walking now. When I see dude, I'm kind of you know not not spect spect spectacle of him. I'm just looking at him like shit and kind of know what the relationship they have kind of like together is. So then, like the next week, store day come, boom. So then I see Radar going around to his cube over there in three. You know, because Radar is in two with me up all the way at the top over here. So I see him coming around there. Boom, I see him with a little laundry bag with a bunch of story in there. I'm like, shit, dang. You know, I just see him doing that. But I don't, I don't, I just probably just, I just see him doing, I don't know what he doing or whatever. I just seen the bag. So he walked by, look, you know, I'm thinking that maybe he probably going to come up and get some cigarettes or something from me or whatever because he already got the cigarette. So then after that, he come back by, like I said, you know, with, with my little portion or whatever for a cigarette that I gave him, he gave it to me. And uh, when he stopped and gave it to me, I was like, boy, you got to, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with that little bag? I said, you see, you moving the groove, you trying to shake it back on something, you know what you're trying to do. Because that's how he got to talk all the time, you know. He always trying to shake and bake on stuff. So I was like, shit, what you trying to shake and bake on, you know. Cause I'm trying to see if he's trying to bust a move or whatever. I'm trying to figure out if me and him can, you know, maybe I can get on with something, you know. I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to do something. So he's like, oh, nah, man, it's something me and him got going on, you know, with me and him. I was like, all right, you know, so she pushed on, boom. <clears throat> so then, like I said, they running every day together kicking it all the motherfucking time, you know, sitting there talking every day. I'm mean, just moving and grooving like that around and stuff like that. So then probably about, shit, he probably been there probably about almost two weeks. So then one day, I'm sitting up in the day room, like I said, because we ain't had no TV. I'm just sitting up in there. Now, these crip dudes, they come over there. Now, <clears throat> One of them's called Roland, another one's called Pudge, you know. So I'm like, shit. They're like, hey, uh, go get Philip, you know. So I was like, shit, all right, 
You know, I ain't, you know, no, I knew who Philip was, but I ain't know if that's the Philip that they was talking about. So he was like, oh, yeah, Philip, you know. So, boom, I get up, you know, I walk down there. I'm like, hey, Philip. You know, I yell down there because, you know, I can't come in there, little, they little doing three. Hey, Philip. So he look up, you know what I'm saying? Him and Radar, they look up, boom, they get up. I said, somebody wants you at the door. So then that's when they go to the door right there and they talking. I don't know what they're talking about or nothing like that because I just see them right there talking, all four of them, you know what I'm saying? I see rolling and Pudge, you know, and they like, shit, hey, man, you know. I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what they're talking about, but you can tell that they were really talking about something. But I know that they Crips because, you know, I know what, what table they sitting at. So they wasn't really deep or nothing out there. This, this facility right here is probably about five of them or whatever. It wasn't that many of them because, you know, all of them was behind the walls. And like I said, they move, rotate a little bit, a little bit at a time out at this facility right here. So... I'm seeing them talking. I leave out, we'll go back to my little cubicle, sit down, you know, don't really, you know, paying no mind or anything like that. But I know it's something because, like I said, from the conversation that he, uh, Radar was telling me that he had with old boy. So I'm like, shit, maybe, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, you know. So a little bit later, I get up come back out to the little day room out there. I see him out there talking, you know, and I'm hearing radar, because like I said, them tables right there, you can kind of just kind of sit basically to where you can hear. And if they're talking a little bit loud, you can kind of hear what's going on. And I'm hearing radar telling him, hey man, you know, shit, they already know that you know that you did that on the street. So they probably want to try to get something off you as well. They're trying to maybe maybe you have you pay them some type of commission or something of whatever happened on the street or whatever. And I'm hearing them over there basically telling, you know what I'm saying, Phil, that, you know, that he might have to end up having to pay somebody for something. So I'm like, shit, pay. You know, I'm just listening to him talking or whatever. And I just get up, you know, after that because, like I said, I kind of just heard just a little bit of it. I ain't want to be all in their business because they was talking kind of loud to where I kind of hear what was going on. So I get up because I ain't want to be all in their business and stuff like that. So I get up. I go back to my little room, you know what I'm saying, for a second. I'm moving around, you know, looking for some stuff, you know. That's when Radar come back around there. You know, he asked me for another cigarette, and I was like, all right. And I was like, man, shit, you cool, bro? You cool? You know, and he was like, yeah, man, I'm straight, man. You know, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on around here to where I'm kind of confused on what to do. And I was like, shit, what you kind of confused on what to do? You know, I'm trying to really get in this business now because, shit, I'm saying that he already talking to these crip dudes and I'm trying to figure out, shit, if he going to be some drama going to go down or whatever with this situation or whatever or whatever. I don't know. So... Boom, the next week come, I see him come around here with that bag again. So now I'm looking to see what he actually doing. Then, like I said, I gave him a cigarette. I know he's going to come back around and make sure that I'm taking care of me as well. So he come back around, we'll give me my little stuff, you know. I don't pick nothing up out his brain or whatever. I just let him just keep on walking after that because, shit, whatever page that he's on, I'm trying to see if he's going to take something out the dorm or whatever, you know, just to see if he's going to be moving and grooving like that. So I look and see. I don't see him taking nothing up out the dorm or nothing or, or nobody to Crips and then could never came back over there or whatever. So I go to child. I'm sitting at the child hall. You know what I'm saying? For a second, eating my little food. That's when I seen that dude Roland get up, you know what I'm saying, and walk on by. I mean, Roland's kind of big dude, so you can kind of tell when he kind of walked by because he going to have to scoot, turn to the side to move through the tables and stuff because the way the people eat is kind of close. So he, gonna, he just can't walk straight through. He's going to have to turn to the side, so he kind of moves the crowd when he moves. So I see him walking over there, you know, to Radar's table, you know, 
They said he sit down for a second, you know, then he get up and then he walk on off. I don't know if they passed anything or whatever they was talking about or whatever. I just seen him just doing that. So then I get back to the dorm and that's when, you know, <clears throat> I seen radar come through. So I'm like, shit, what the fuck radar doing, you know? Because like I said, when he come through, he, he goes around there to them people's side. I can't go up in there. I mean, he sneaks over there and he, he kind of hangs out with that, you know what I'm saying, that dude all the time. So then I'm seeing him go over there again. You know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know exactly what they're doing here over there doing or whatever, but I know that he's over there doing something. So I get up, like I said, when on the pod, you can kind of look and see over on the other side through the window right there if somebody's coming out, but you can't see what they're actually doing over there on the other side because it's like a wall in between it. But you know, I can see it when they come out. So when I, I come out, they're coming out, that's when I seen Philip, you know, and Radar, you know, walking up to the day room like they about to leave up out. So I walk down, you know, being suspicious as a motherfucker because, I, like I said, shit, after seeing them Crips, I, don't, I already know how they roll. So, shit, I just want to see if anything's actually going down with them to where I can kind of, because, like I said, I was a Crip at that time. So I kind of knew them dudes and stuff, but I ain't really hang with them or anything like that. I kind of stayed to myself and did my little motion and stuff like that. That's why when they asked me to go do that dude, they already knew who I was, so shit. I already knew how things played out for that. So then I go out to the day room, and when I get out to the day room, I look, I see Philip. you know what I'm saying, the radar, like they looking to see if somebody's coming in, you know, and I'm like, shit, all right. So I go sit down at the tables, you know, just to peep it out for a second while they doing that little suspicious thing. So then they go back to the bathroom. I don't know if they was back there smoking or whatever they was doing or whatever, but they was back there doing something. Then all of a sudden I heard boom, 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 boom. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? You know, I jump up, you know, I go to the bathroom because shit, I can't hear it. <laughs> And you can hear Philip, man, quit it, man. Stop it, stop it, man. What the fuck, man? Stop it, stop it. Boom, radar. Boom, 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 boom. You better have my motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. I'm talking about whoop the fuck up our dudes. You know what I'm saying? Now I turned around and looked, and then when I looked, that's when radar kind of stopped. You know what I'm saying? Punching on Philip, you know. And I back up and I'm going back to my little cubicle. And I'm like, shit, when he, when he come back to me, cause like I say, he come back huffing and puffing. I'm like, man, what's, what, what happened, man? That's your boy, man. Why you jumping on him like that, man, you know? And he's like, man, shit, that dude gonna have to pay, you know what I'm saying? He gonna have to do something, you know? I don't know what he gonna have to do, but shit, he ain't gonna get me in no type of situation with these crips to where I may end up having to do something to them or whatever, but shit, he gonna have to pay somebody to do something or whatever. So I'm like, shit, man, damn, man, that's kind of fucked up, you know what I'm saying, for you to do your boy like that, put him in a motherfucking crazy-ass situation. So then he looked at me, he was like, shit, what, you got something to say about it or whatever? He said, shit, I ain't trying to get in myself in no type of situation like that with nobody, you know? And I was like, shit, all right, man. So shit, boom. I left on, I let him roll on back out, you know? They ended up, you know, he ended up going out to the... Uh, Police that little shack out there, you know what I'm saying, with his little face out messed up or Philip did, went out there to the people. I guess the people, you know what I'm saying, had the people come over there, ain't hit no alarm or nothing like that. They just had a lot of police come out there. They came through, you know what I'm saying, looked at the whole situation or whatever, I guess where he said he was, where it happened there, and they ended up getting them up out there. But yeah, when you involved in situations like that, a lot of stuff can go on with a person mentally or physically helping the penitentiary because you never know what you can do on the street and they end up carrying you back to the penitentiary. I mean, I guess he ended up getting into a situation with the Crips to where the Crips wanted some type of uh, money out this dude or whatever that what they was doing or whatever, but I don't know how it actually played out. I just seen the way that the bags was coming in there. 
So then when I seen that, I kind of knew that these people was kind of doing something with that guy on a certain type of level to where they was trying to manipulate that dude to where he can get some type of money or something about that. But yeah.